Oh, I wish. I wish we were in Annecy for the animation film festival. I wish it was Disney's birdie, birthday a century away. I wish we were celebrating with Olaf and the genie, maybe with Peter, Denise, and maybe with Jenny. Oh, wait, 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 and wish with me. We are actually here in Nancy and with Jennifer Lee. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Jennifer. And thanks again for being with us again. Thank you for having me. I'm so happy to be here. If you were here for the first time last year, I was. how was it to be back, finally back? Well, it's a little less stressful in that um, uh, last year, uh, earning that award was so emotional. I'm very honored. And, uh, and I was taking everything in for the first time. And then I have to say, you felt surrounded by love. The animation community is the most loving community. And I just said, well, I have to come back. Can I come next year? And they said yes. So, and this year I get to relax a little because I'm doing my favorite thing, which is sharing what we're doing this year for the 100th, something that I care deeply about. So, so we have a lot of topics to uh, cover today, but you just uh, remind us that last year in this very room, you told us exactly, you told us there is a lot to come, <laughs> but I can't say anything. <laughs> yeah. What can you say today? Well, we were hard at work a year ago on um, our plans for our 100th anniversary. And we're so excited because this year, not only do we have a very special short that we have been keeping secret, um, directed by Dan Abraham and Trent Corey, um, mostly animated, um, or led at least by the animation of the incredible Eric Goldberg. And we are here to present that and for this exclusively for the NEC audience. Um, and then I also get to share 20 minutes of footage of our 100th anniversary film called Wish. And I'm really excited about that. Okay, so let's start with this short, uh, Once Upon a Studio. Once Upon a Studio. <laughs> and Dan and Trent together did Once Upon a Snowman, which mm -hmm. was a um, story of Olaf uh, and how he, his first few minutes of life. And they are just so charming and so fun and about... I guess it was a little over a year ago, We've, we really just dove in um, the minute I saw a pitch that they had been working on, where they stepped out, they did the boards and the voices for this, this incredible short to celebrate 100 years. They wanted it to be a nod to the artists, to the creative folks that have worked on everything, the technologists, but also a nod to the audience and a thank you. And they showed it to me, I cried, so much so that I couldn't talk. I said, you have to wait. Um, and we were still on Zoom at that point. We were still home from, from the pandemic. And uh, so I was able to turn the camera off for a minute <laughs> and then said, no matter what it takes, we have to do it. And I, a huge gratitude to the company because this was not part of our schedule, our plan. And they, um, they agreed we have to do it. So people gave us everything we needed to, have, to make it happen. And when is this surprise uh, going to be offered to the world? Well, I can't say exactly when. It's a special, there will be, it's a special treat that will go out to the world as part of our whole hundredth. Mm -hmm. um, soon people will know when, but uh, we're, we're really excited because what's most important to us is that this goes out to the whole world and is a gift and a thank you. So it's your birthday, but you're giving us something. <laughs> well... It's our birthday because of what everyone's given us. So we, we feel that what more can we do? You know, we'll keep trying. Speaking of what more can you do? Well, we know that you will, but uh, it's, it must be, as a CCO, it must be quite uh, a vertigo to look back at 100 years of animation, of uh, reshaping the world, mm -hmm. of uh, instilling some... Uh, careers, uh, destinies of animation, of uh, uh, dream creating. Yeah, yeah. How do you look at the next century now? <laughs> you know, I think, I think we look at the next century the way we've looked at every year of the hundred. Some of us have obviously not been here for the, all a hundred, but what we've done is we've really always made sure we put storytelling, the creative artistry first, 
Every year we're trying new things. We're working hard to keep evolving. And we're working together with those who, we, Eric, you know, Eric Goldberg's here, we've talked about Bernie Mattinson, who is a part of the short, um, who was the longest uh, employee of Disney, 70 years, who just recently passed. And what Bernie gave all the way to the end every day was training and teaching and mentoring the next generation. And that connection to our past, that, that those who've been here longest are still here to, to train those who are coming up. We have this beautiful mix of multi-generations. And I think that's part of what makes us strong, that we are keeping this bridge going. Every day, I have um, advice that comes, memories that come of Walt and how much he believed in creativity and always moving forward. And we bring that into the room every day. So I think in these next 100 years, it's about that, knowing we're going to keep evolving, but also being connected to our legacy so we can draw from that incredible canon. Well, we wish again that we could live a hundred more years to see all that. <laughs> um, so let's speak about wish now. You're here to present uh, the next uh, Disney's creation. Um, how does it, um, well, what's the topic, the main topic here? <laughs> well, what I love is Wish is really, a, it's, a, it's a, a brand new, all original musical in the scope and scale of our classic musicals, but with a uh, sort of very forward uh, storytelling. Um, so we can really look at, at 100 years, celebrate part of who we've been, but where we're going. Wish really looks at that moment where, you know, the will of one person wishes on a star and the power that can bring. Um, it's about the responsibility to the wishes of your heart, which is so much a part of our legacy, our characters. They look up and they dream and they, they wish upon stars and they work hard to drive uh, the, their destinies. And so it's a, it's a story that celebrates that. We, Chris Buck and I, um, while working on Frozen 2, recognized the 100 years was coming and what a privilege it would be to be here. And we are <laughs> here. We're very lucky. And how can we do something special? And it was the entire studio. We kept connecting with folks, talking about what do you want to see in that kind of a story to celebrate. Obviously, a fairy tale, everyone said. A um, great villain, people said, which is oh, delicious to bring back. Magnifico. Uh, really have fun, yes, with a villain. And, and inc incredible music, but also artistry in our look. We've got a look like we've never seen before. Um, and it's a c very inspired by the early watercolors, particularly of Sleeping Beauty and the artist of Disney, but with modern technology. And it's in the work that the um, technologists have done to create this for us. It's one of the most complex uh, uh, technologies we've ever used. Our directors aren't here because rendering takes forever on each shot. So <laughs> they're hard at work. We still have 50% to animate. Um, so it's been uh, an incredible experience. Wish is going to be the, um, the achievement of a uh, hundred years of animation, of uh, references, um, just the <laughs> title and the name of uh, one of the character, Star. It's, it's, it gives us uh, a little need to sing, don't you think? It's, it, for us, we like to say it really is a love letter for us to, okay. to what Disney has meant to us. Um, we really wanted to have fun with this and it's very playful. Yes, there are lots of nods to our legacy um, and I, it'll be interesting to see how many people can find. Some are more obvious, some more subtle. But it's just, um, we really, what was really beautiful about the experience and getting to, um, I worked with an incredible writer, Alison Moore, and we got to write the script and work with Julia Michaels on the music, who's this incredible young woman um, who is, uh, is Grammy nominated, worked with Justin Bieber, worked with Selena Gomez and the likes, just amazing songwriter. Together, we just had these incredible moments where parts of our legacy would just show up as if they belonged in the story in a way like it was always meant to be. And I've never had that experience before, and we all felt it. And the music, it drives forward and it's so modern, but there's a classic feel. And there's just this, this whole process of this 
of making this movie has been this constant back and forth of being re-inspired. And we kept saying, someone's there helping us because these beautiful moments just keep coming and these playful moments, these silly moments. And it's just been, it's been a dream. So this is the kind of uh, film we are going to watch and rewatch and rewatch. I hope, I hope and, yes. And I hope find that's... new things to discover <laughs> yeah, each time. For sure. And I think that was important to us too, not just for the fun level, but you know, what we all love about the Disney animated films is we revisit them at different times in our lives. And that comes from the, the wonderful relatability and depth of storytelling that you can see different things in the story at different times in your life. And that was important to us too. And we have this incredible heroine named Asha who is on the cusp of adulthood and confronting a world that is not what she thought and trying to figure out how to do what's right. We have an incredible villain where this villain, you get to watch how he go, just his whole motivation, how he becomes the villain. You get to go through that experience and not just have this villain show up and be arch, you know, and that we've not done. So we've, we've had a lot of fun also making sure the storytelling, we want the storytelling to be worthy of rewatching too. Just that's something that um, the, our favorite Disney movies have done. And, and, and it's, a, it's a big undertaking, but it's important to us. Well, thanks a lot, Jennifer, because you're already giving us a, a nice birthday <laughs> present, oh, telling you. all this to us. Uh, last question. This is Disney's uh, birthday today. This is Disney's day in Annecy. Um, there's a lot to, to uh, see, to experience today. What is your schedule, Jennifer Vito? <laughs> um, well, I, I have the privilege of getting to connect with some of the folks here. Um, and uh, as we give out some beautiful uh, lithographs from, uh, from Wish, mm -hmm. I get to be in the room with 400 people getting to see the short for the first time. And uh, I haven't experienced it with an audience, so I can't wait. And I get to present 20 minutes of Wish, including two brilliant songs by Julie Michaels. Uh, and I can't wait to share that too. Okay, so we're going to release you to NCs and <laughs> <Thank> the animation <laughs> community. Do, do you like to sing? Do I like to sing? Never in front of anyone. Okay, so I so, will sing alone. You can sing. If you can sing, I'd love to hear it, but I will not. I, I'm not a good I'll singer. I'll break your I'm... camera. No. <laughs> <laughs> If you had to make a wish on a birthday cake today, yeah. can you tell us what would it well, be? Uh, well, I don't want to say it out loud because they say for it to come true, you can't. But I will say in the looking at the privilege of getting to have these hundred years and being a part of these hundred years, um, my wish is looking ahead for the next hundred years. When you wish upon a star makes no difference who you are. Anything your heart desires will come to you. <laughs> you can sing. That's I brilliant. can, maybe. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jennifer. Thank you. And thanks a lot for Thank being you. with us. And I expect you to be here in one year. Okay. It's our rendezvous now. Oh, it's such a hard thing to, to, to do, to come here. Okay, so... <laughs> I bet you heard it. I have to come. So Let's plan Thank this. You. Okay. Thanks Thank a you lot, so Jennifer. Much. Cheers. Thank you.